Good morning, my loved ones, to this Friday, September the 18th here in Gallipolis, Ohio. And we are on our video devotions in the book of James dealing with the favoritism and partiality that they were using for certain people and then even talking about justifying their own sins or other people's sins so that they could play their favorites with others. And James picks it up for us in chapter 2, verse 12. And he says, So speak and so do, as those who will be judged by the law of liberty. Speak and do, as those who are going to be judged by the law of liberty. Yes, speak and do. A person's words speak, and a person's actions speak. We're to be a person of deeds and not just words. I'm reminded of something that my grand great grandmother gave to our family. Maybe some of you know it. I know it's out there in internet land. I don't know how many of you have heard of it. About a, a man of words and not of deeds is like a garden full of weeds. And when the weeds begin to grow, it's like a garden full of snow. And when the snow begins to fall, it's like a bird upon the wall. And when the wall begins to crack, it's like a stick across your back. And when your back begins to smart, it's like a penknife in your heart. And when your heart begins to bleed, you're dead in word and dead in deed. We need to make sure that the point of all that is to make sure that our words and our actions back up each other. He's basically saying, if you're playing favorites with people, or you're picking and even choosing certain sins in other people that you like and you won't deal with, and you're playing the good old boy system with others, or you're even picking and choosing your own sins, he says that isn't the way of God. God doesn't play favorites, and God is impartial in how he judges us. He says, so speak and write as those who are going to be judged. And my friends, we are all going to be judged. We're going to stand before the judgment, the Bema judgment seat of Jesus Christ. And we are all going to give an account for how we have lived in this life for Jesus Christ. What account will you give with your words and with your actions? Jesus says every idle word is going to be judged in the day of judgment. Well, Proverbs also says where there's a multitude of words, there's going to be sin. I have a lot that I'm going to be making sure that I answer for in hopefully using my life well in my words and my actions for Jesus Christ. But he says we're going to be judged by the perfect law of liberty. Now that sounds like a contradiction, law and liberty. Law means you're underneath the rules, but liberty means there is no rules. So which is it? All my loved ones, when Jesus saves us by his grace, it doesn't mean that all the rules of the kingdom are thrown completely out and you can just live any old way you want to. I think we understand that, right? In a, a, a person's yard, front yard, and let's say in the front of it there's a busy highway where cars just zoom by. Well, if there's little children playing in the front yard, a wise parent will put up what? Well, they're going to put up a fence there. And what does that fence do? The fence isn't super small. The fence is as wide as what the property line is. And it gives security and liberty and freedom to run and jump and frolic and do cartwheels all inside that fenced area without running outside and getting run over by a car. God's word is not given to be burdensome to us. It is of his grace. He tells us in the New Testament good instructions for us. And it's basically all summed up into two things. Do everything you possibly can to love God with all of your heart and do everything you possibly can to be loving to everyone you come in contact with, not taking advantage of them, but actually caring for them and giving good that would be a blessing to them. Yes, my loved ones, that means our words are to be loving God and others and our actions are to be loving God and others and we're going to be judged by that law, but it's a law of liberty, and only his grace, only his daily grace can give us the strength to follow, just like that song we sing. 
The strength to follow your commands could never come from me. So today, let's remember, there's going to be an accounting day. I want my words and my actions matching each other. And I want to be making sure that I follow the greatest commandments of liberty, loving God and loving others with my words and with my actions, verbally and visibly. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would help us in these areas we've just spoken of to live for you from the heart. May we not look at your word as burdensome. May we go to you in prayer and get the strength needed to live for you. We ask in your son's name. Amen.